just wanted to stop by to say hi again welcome all my new subscribers i just want to tell y'all it's our love over here be safe uh be cautious of your surroundings be careful using the atm machines and things like that uh i'm still offering and extending prayers to all those communities who have been has been affected by gun violence and i'm gonna say this uh i i just don't see the need for an average citizen to have a, a weapon of mass destruction. If you wanna have your gun for protection, to go hunting and everything, that's fine. But why does an average citizen need a gun that can kill a, a, a huge amount of people in a short amount of time? I just, I don't, I don't get that. It if I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me If I come up and I fall off, that's, that's on, on me, me. That's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we I know that's, we. that's why I take my time Before I make my mind up And I do this like seven days out of the week And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep I had to earn my stripes So I don't have to work no nine to five yeah. We be taking everything for granted, no lie Cause I remember days that we could barely get by Used to use the negativity to get high But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives, why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat Even though now it's lobster, all on top of my Happy Thursday, y'all, how's everybody doing? Some call it Friday Eve, some call it Friday Junior But it's Thursday, y'all, it's one more day until the weekend and y'all, I get excited about when we had our community feeding. I just love, y'all, my love language is food. I love feeding, it's cooking and feeding people. I love, love doing that. You know, and I feel like I love cooking, I love feeding people. And to me, that, that and getting on here is my ministry. It is. And if you notice, for the first couple of years on here, all I did was post videos on food, cooking and recipes and things like that. But yeah, y'all, so welcome all my new subscribers. First of all, thank y'all for stopping by. It's all love over here. We value your opinions, your concerns, all of that. <laughs> anyway, y'all, so um, yesterday my daughter had come and she, I heard the car pull up and I figured it was her, but I didn't, you know, I was in the kitchen Yesterday, I did feel the cheese steaks. Um, and so I was in the kitchen cooking. Just got in from work. And um, so she came in and she said, look, y'all, why in my neighbor's backyard there was a snake and a raccoon fight? And she actually has, and I'm going to share it with y'all. I'm going to share a link to it because I'm going to make a short of it, but I'm going to share it because I want y'all to see it. Y'all, that raccoon, first of all, was darn near big as a dog. That thing was fat. And then the snake, the snake head, excuse me, looked big to me. It, you, it's at a distance. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on it to make it bring it closer to the camera's view. But um, you can see that snake throwing his whole body. I don't know if it hit that raccoon or not, but I asked my daughter where the raccoon go. She said he just eventually left. She didn't record the whole thing. So my neighbor, <laughs> my neighbor is, my, my neighbor, it's an elderly lady, her daughter and her son, they live together. And so the son was on the side of the house. Hey, shoot, I'm scared of snakes. Now I'm gonna be honest. I'm a big old woman too, but I'm not lying y'all. I am fearful, I am petrified of snakes. And it's like a ravine at the back of my house. Like from my patio, I don't know how many feet, cause I'm not good with measuring stuff like that, but not actually measuring if that makes sense. There's a ravine back there. And so that's why, um, like, when the, when, the, when the seasons changed, like one day I came out, the mosquitoes were running rampant, rampant. So they have to come and spray uh, the, the community. They come out and spray for that because those mosquitoes, baby, that's why you can't have any standing water or anything like that. Shoot, mosquitoes will take over. But that's Louisiana weather for you. But y'all, when I tell you that snake, 
didn't bow down. I, I, I have got to show y'all that. But like I said, I want to zoom in so you, it can be closer to you because my daughter did on her iPhone. I think she got a 14. But I was like, look at there. Oh, y'all. But when I saw that thing, oh my God, I got so nervous. You ever seen a video where a person is in a car and they see a snake head come from out the vent? Baby, I don't know. I don't know what. I just pray that never happened to me because I will probably end up in a bad accident of the end because I am fearful. I am petrified of snakes. And we've had um let's see. My neighbor killed one, but I what I what he did though, the snake was on his property and he kicked it over to my property and then he put it in my trash. I didn't care for that. But I was just glad he got it, right? Then another time, my uh, my ex killed a snake that was at the yard, at the house in the yard, and then he actually saw two others. So I'm like, man, I'm ready to move, but you know what? I don't care where you live, people are gonna run into snakes, but I just don't wanna be where, and that's why I'm, I'm looking for a house to buy, and last year I had seen, it was a nice house. But when I saw behind it, they had a pond with that like green algae in the water, I said two things, it's gonna be full of snakes and it's gonna be full of mosquitoes in the summertime. Oh, uh-uh. I, 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 I don't want to live jammed up on nobody. You understand what I'm saying? I do want a little land, but I don't want to be bothered with no snakes and stuff. I, I don't like, you know. I know people love dogs, and I love them too, as long as they don't come around me and they belong to somebody else. I'm just being real. I'm pet. Is it is it not pet friendly if you don't want pet dogs and stuff like that? So I guess maybe I'm not pet friendly now. But I love all creatures big and small, but I don't like no snakes. I don't like no creatures and stuff like that. No sir, no ma'am, I don't. Yeah, but that's why I came on to tell y'all about I saw that snake and oh my goodness. Oof. Yeah, y'all. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, I do have a few videos I'm, I'm going to be posting eventually. I haven't had a chance to actually get in there and um, to edit them. Like sometimes, y'all, I be mentally drained. I have to decompress. Do y'all do that? Do you get in, do you get sometimes where you have to decompress and you just like kind of not really shut down but tap out a little bit? I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy. I think your mind tells you like you're getting overloaded and you need to just slow down a little bit. And I listen. I, I try to listen. Um, I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday and I actually had lost three pounds since January. I was shocked, but. I have cut back and my mom did tell me she said as you get older your taste buds change and you get fuller faster and you don't you know I still like good food but I don't have to have a lot of it if it's something I'm craving I can have a couple of spoonfuls and a whole bunch of water and I'm good I'm good yeah so all right y'all I just wanted to stop by to say hi again welcome all my new subscribers I just want to tell y'all it's our love over here be safe uh, be cautious of your surroundings be careful using the atm machines and things like that uh i'm still offering and extending prayers to all those communities who be been has been affected by gun violence and i'm gonna say this uh i i just don't see the need for an average citizen to have a, a weapon of mass destruction if you want to have your gun for protection to go hunting and everything that's fine but why does an average citizen need a gun that can kill a, a a huge amount of people in a short amount of time i just i don't i don't get that anyway y'all it's all love over here everything i discuss everything i tell you everything i do is done with love sometimes i i, I can be a little bit and my friend told me about compassion anxiety sometimes i think i experienced that but my pet peeve is to mistreat people and i feel like everybody whether they're rich poor young or old gay or straight should be treated with respect and made to feel special right so all right y'all i'll talk to y'all later be blessed much love bye